let me welcome you, my dear students, to another exciting session, to another interesting session, and a session of a journey where we are trying to learn and have some information so that we can develop those skills through which we can manage ourselves, right? Self-awareness. अच्छा फिर सेल्फ अवेयरनेस के पर्सपेक्टिव में लास्ट सेशन में वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सरसाइज वेर यू असेस्ड योर सेल्फ दैट इन द मार्केट इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एट होम यू विल मीट डिफरेंट पर्सनैलिटीज डू यू नो वट काइंड ऑफ पर्सनैलिटीज यू आर इंटरेक्टिंग विद आर यू अवेयर ऑफ How many types of personalities there could be? You have to interact with and you have to react to. And you remember the type of personalities we discussed? Can you recall? One, two, three, four. How many of them? Yad ki jira. Six of them, at least in this model. Six of them. We divide people. on the basis of the attributes we said for example you will meet or you could be one of the self monitoring personality don't push them too hard why because they are monitoring their own goals they know their own value system they have a plan of development for themselves self monitoring they have a monitor a controlling mechanism which is built into them hote hain log aise they would know what i am going to do today and what are the targets i am going to finish this month this year and where i want to be in the next 5 years ek kitab mein padh raha tha a graduate of national university of singapore mba and you know in that book he wrote success basics if you can find that book try to read it success basics he said while i was graduating i made a plan then in 5 years i want to be heading a department in a business organization in singapore which will be multinational now that's a very high target think of it After MBA, you want to be head of a department in five years. अच्छा फिर head of the department, not of a local company, multinational company, where the standards are high, targets are set at the headquarter level. Culture may be different, pace may be different. And then he explained, how did I make a plan that in the next five years, I would achieve it. he did it so in other words if you have a plan you know your personality you know what are my goals what is the map where is the starting point where is the ending point what motorway what freeway what highway what street what village what how i'm going to cross am i going to fly i'm going to run at a speed of 100 kilometers or to you have to make a plan self monitoring acha dusri personality aur kaun si humne learn ki second type of personality risk propensity a person who is ready to take risk one of the very important attribute of an entrepreneur aur aap mein se bahut sare students Both are a professional, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try to come up with a company where you provide jobs to others. Look, you know, one mindset is, no, no, no. I like to work for an organization. Well, good. That's, you know, pretty safe. Every month you will have a salary check. But here is someone, risk propensity. Someone who would like to come up with an idea, a company, find some finance. how i'm going to market 
I will provide jobs for others. I want to be boss of my own. Third type of personality kaun si thi? Recall kijiye. Locus of control. And we'll talk about that locus of control when we will discuss an attitude towards change. What is the kind of... Where is your locus of control? Is it your, your remote control in your hand? Or is it in the hand of the environment? I said, remember when we were personality discuss personality, we said that yes, there is a part which comes from the environment. Locus of control. What's the fourth type? Very interesting. Machiavellian. Achha, phir aapne wo Mac test bhi to. Did you take that test? I'm sure you have completed it. Now you know where you are. I don't want to go and touch that sensitive area again. But these are the people. You'll find them. And the fifth type of personality, type A versus type B. Right? And that is also a test, an assessment, an instrument which we have used. And we have gone into detail where you and me would like to place myself, yourself, on the basis of this instrument, on the basis of the scores which you give to the statement, and then maybe try to relate the kind of vocation or the job or the workplace where you are. Is it fit? good, if it's satisfying, if it's making you happy, if not, what is the plan? Plan will be two types. Either you can change the organization or change the workplace where you can fit yourself according to your personality. Or there is a second chance. Try to tune a little bit your personality. It's possible. But anyhow, Looking at all these type of personalities, ek aur reh gai. Remember the sixth one? Bataiye zara jaldi se. Does it come to your mind? A Pakistani culture mein to, balke Pakistani ni, sab continent ke culture mein, even Middle East ke culture mein, is kisim ki personality se bhoos saare log nazar aayenge. What is the sixth one? Authoritarian personality. I like to enjoy. Rather, I like to ride on my authority. My way and no other way. Achha, phir, yes, authority ke bagar to kaam hote nahi hai. But don't you also like to have authority? So if authority is going to clash with the authority and nobody is going to give way, that will create conflict. Now, you don't have to create conflict. Constructive conflict, we'll talk about conflict. Constructive conflict is good. But those conflicts are on ideas. The conflict, the conflicts which are based on personalities and values, sometimes they are dysfunctional. I think we need to avoid them. Now, how can you avoid it? That's one way of knowing it. That all right, here you are. Talking to someone, talking to someone who would like to exercise and show and present and exhibit through his sitting, through his talking, through his walking, through his dress, through his car, through his way he is dealing with you, that he is talking in authority mode. Learn it. No need to take it head on. All right. If he's creating heat, you create light. Find out. Right or left. And see how can you avoid that situation where the authority was being exercised on you. That is the purpose of this self-awareness. But now moving on, that why knowing this personality type makes me important. One more important aspect is still left. And I like to make sure that you take a time more on this skill assessment. And I would like to give you one more instrument. And this instrument is developed and used by one of the very well-known famous professor. 
who is still working, actively and doing research, trying to explain to MBAs, managers, executives, that in 21st century, how can you use your political skills? Do you know what kind of political skills you have? You need to take this test. Know where you are. Know where the organization and what kind of organization you are in and how are you going to use this skill. It's a management skill. It's a negotiation skill. Because political skill is simply trying to match your personal goals, maybe with the goals of the other person, maybe with the goals of the heads of the department, maybe the goals of the organization or the CEO of the organization. But this test will tell you how good you are in political skills. Now, I will share this instrument with you in front of you. And then I will ask you, how are you going to use this test for your benefit? All right. This is self-awareness. And we like to get awareness on our political skills. Achha, dekhi, phir, wherever we will talk about political skill. Remember Machiavellian personality? Highly political. That's also one way of looking at personality type. But here we are expecting from you that you need to develop this skill. And according to Professor Jeffrey Peffer, and please read his articles, research articles, and I think now the time is coming when I'll share with you and I'll request you to read certain articles, some cases, research articles, where you will learn from others that how developing these management skills will bring success to you. And how developing these management skills are predictor of the success. So you can predict by taking these tests or reading these research articles. All right, my dear students, ladies and gentlemen, this is a political skills test. Male and female, doesn't matter. Big cities, small cities, tehsils, headquarters, Islamabad, Karachi, does not matter. It's a skill of human being. Computers do not require political skill. Well, they do communicate with each other. They have certain protocols. They always abide by those protocols. Remember TCP, IP? Those are protocols. It's the human, you and me, who certain times do not abide by those protocols. And you need to find out when somebody is going beyond the limit, beyond the scale. So this political skill test tells us that please remember, organizations are political arenas. Kya organizations may be politics hoti hai? Now you tell me. When your interests clash, when your goals clash, when your promotions clash, when the way you write an email, you get an immediate response with hot words. Organizations are political arenas. Professor Ferris, who has written this book, from where this instrument is taken by Professor Peffer. Professor Farris says that we have found that political skill predicts performance. My dear students, political skill predicts performance. It's performance evaluation and your career success. Now, how do you do it? Let's find out. These authors define, and that's a very important catch. You don't have to be allergic from the word political. The definition in 21st century of a political skill is, it's your ability to understand others. Don't you have this need to understand others? So it's your ability to understand others at work. And to use that knowledge, ability is understanding others. That's your knowledge. And to use that knowledge to influence where to act in ways which will enhance your personal or organizational objectives. How are you going to influence? Verbally, non-verbally. 
what kind of tone are you going to use? Are you going to use networking? Before meeting, after meeting? Who is going to call and talk for your goals? Personal goals as well as organizational goals. It is something important. So please, take the test. Find out where you are and make a development plan. This is a development plan that if certain skills you are not up to the mark, you need to design a development plan. We'll talk about that. So take the test and then work on improving the areas where you are weak. You will be better off for these efforts where you will be developing political skills. Now, when, you, when I use this instrument with certain of my students in MBA, in MPhil, MS management class, whenever I find out that the score is low, I'll share with you in a minute that why it's low. When I find out the score is low, I would immediately ask, are you working for a uniform organization? Army, Air Force, Navy, or even police. Are you working for a uniform organization? Especially in the armed forces where the systems, SOPs, structures, processes are very much focused for a particular objective. So maybe networking and the nature of networking required is different. And then I immediately ask, okay, your office time is 8 to 2, 7.30 to 2.30. But how about after 2.30 when you go home, you are interacting with your wife, with your children. Don't you use this? And don't you want to use this? And don't you want to develop this skill, which is a skill of negotiation? And the answer comes, yes. So that's why I'm saying, please, take the test. All right. For those of you who have not downloaded and made a print copy, let me read the statement and you can make a scale of yours and find the number. Write down the number for each statement. Take the total and discuss with your colleagues where you are weak. Number one. I spend a lot of time and effort at work networking with others. Scale is one to seven. And remember, one is strongly disagree and seven is strongly agree. Number two, I'm able to make most people feel comfortable and easy around me. Number three, I'm able to communicate easily and effectively with others. Number four, it's easy for me to develop good rapport with most people. Now, for example, this statement is important for all types of organizations, regardless if it's a uniform or armed forces or manufacturing or service. I repeat number four. It's easy for me to develop good rapport with most people. Number five. I understand people very well. Number six. I'm good at building relationships, my dear students. I'm good at building relationships with influential people at work. Number seven, I'm particularly good at sensing the hidden agendas of others. Achha, hidden agenda hote hai, nahi? I'm sure there are. So I am particularly good at sensing the hidden agendas of others. Number eight, when communicating with others... I try to be genuine in what I say and what I do. Number nine, I have developed a large network of colleagues and associates at work who I can call on for support when I really need to get things done. Manager is someone who gets things done with the help of others, through the help of others. Let me repeat. I've developed a large network of colleagues and associates at work who I can call on for support when I really need to get things done. Number 10, at work, I know a lot of important people and I am well connected. Scale is 1 to 7. Remember, 1 was strongly disagree and 7 was strongly agree. Number 11, 
I spend a lot of time at work developing connections with others. Number 12, I'm good at getting people to like me. Your marketing is your responsibility. Your personality management is your responsibility. Your brand development is your responsibility. Let me repeat the statement. I am good at getting people to like me. Of course, on the basis of professionalism, on the basis of performance. Number 13, it is important that people believe I am sincere in what I say and what I do. Remember, people's perception is important. Number 13 was, it is important that people believe I am sincere in what I say and what I do. Scale is 1 to 7. My dear students, number 14 is, I try to show a genuine interest in other people. Number 15, I'm good at using my connections and network to make things happen at work. Someone who is networked and use that network for the benefit of the organization. Or dekhi, personal benefit, professional benefit, organizational benefit, all has to be part of the game. Number 16, I have a good intuition and I'm savvy about how to present myself to others. What kind of people I'm going to meet? People who are going to attend this meeting. Are they technical? Are they finance oriented, accounting oriented? Are they design oriented? How I'm going to present myself to others? That's a political skill. Number 17, I always seem to instinctively know the right things to say or do to influence others. Instinctively. How quick? How can you make a judgment and give the response instinctively? I always seem to instinctively know the right things to say or do to influence others. After thought nahi hoga. Thought, well thought over. The last one, number 18, I pay close attention to people's facial expression. Remember I showed you faces of five or six persons? Or rather it was one person, but there were six faces. Was it male or female? Can you remember that? And looking at the face, you can read what may be cooking in the mind of that person. That's what this statement is. I pay close attention to people's facial expression. What's written on it? All right, 18 statements, scale is 1 to 7. Now you add up the score, and when you add the score, according to this instrument, you got the total score. Now divide this total score by 18. Theek hai ji? Your total score aapka aya hai, usko 18 se divide kar dijiye. You will have a score between 1 and 7. Theek hai? Joke scale jo 1 to 7 tha. Here comes the catch. High score means you have very good political skills. Lower score means certainly you have less political skill. Definitely you should have more than four. You should have more than four. Or just a minute, armed forces, for the first time when they take those officers' test. They may come up with 3 and 3.1 and 3.2. Then you discuss. You find out what is the implication. And what these statements are written. Is it important you for you in the office, dealing with people, at home, in the market? Oh, it's a holistic personality. Your life is 24 hours. You have to make it balance work and life. Four is also well, good. Less than four, no good. That's a Think about it. Convince yourself if it is less than four. 
read these statements again and answer especially those statements where your score is low read them again convince yourself is it something which is required from you is it something which is required by you if so and now you have answered that you need an improvement plan well of course if you have aspirations to reach great heights of power and authority and please remember when you go higher in the organization you become head of the department you become head of the division power has to be given to you it's not something that we are talking against but no authority is required but to exercise that authority professionally you need to develop and build this ability and capability you have to develop this stamina that you can take this power do you have this shock absorber to absorb stronger shock higher you go more will be resistance higher you go less will be oxygen it's a natural law get yourself ready so the question which you have answered 18 of them professor peffer has divided them into four dimensions of political skill note kijiyega unme se pehli dimension hai social astuteness how good you are socially kaun si statements hai usme statement number 5 your question number 5 7 16 17 17 18 this has measured your social astuteness statement number or question number 2 3 4 and 12 it has measured your interpersonal influence aap mujhe bataiye kya interpersonal influence nahi required hai that's a skill you need to develop it teesra area teesra dimension political skill ka apparent sincerity acha ab ye लफ्ज इन्होंने इस्तेमाल किया है अपेरेंट सिंसियरिटी देखिए प्रोफेसर पेफर हैज डेवलप्ड दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड वाइल यू आर वर्किंग इन द ऑफिस योर बिहेवियर हैज टू बी अपेरेंटली प्रोफेशनल अच्छा हो सकता है आप में से कुछ लोग कहें कि जी अपेरेंटली सिंसियर का मतलब ये भी तो हो सकता है ना कि बेसिकली इज नॉट सिंसियर इज शोइंग ऑफ वेल यस in psychology your behavior is more important than the attitude if your attitude and behavior can be aligned your thinking and your acting can be aligned you are a strong person but sometimes it happens you don't like something you don't like the color you don't like the hours you don't like the process you don't like the system you don't like the customer you have to show apparently you're working in the organization on the behalf of organization somebody somebody speaks to you in the office say you are sitting on a bank teller you are a bank executive and the customer which just have come in in the bank to withdraw the amount from the bank is one of the important customer of this bank ko 10 million ya 20 million rupaye ka account hai iske bank ke andar aur wo customer jo hai उसने चेक प्रेजेंट किया उस कस्टमर का बिहेवियर थोड़ा रूड था समटाइम मनी मेक्स द बिहेवियर रूड एंड यू डोंट लाइक द रूड बिहेवियर वुड यू लाइक टू बी रूड विद हिम प्रॉब्ली नॉट प्रोफेशनलिज्म डिमांड यू हैव टू सर्व द कस्टमर विद अ स्माइल यू हैव टू बी अपेरेंटली सिंसियर टू हिम सिंसियर टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन so statement number 8 13 and 14 it has assessed your apparent sincerity chauthi dimension hai your networking ability very important in this world of social networks in this world of connectivity in this world of internet networking ability is very important please take it seriously statement number 1 
10, 11 and 15. They give some other statements here. 1, 6, 9, 10, 11 and 15. They have measured your networking ability. Okay, you can score it differently. And see which dimension is weak in the political skill which is weak in your skill. And if you want to hire in your career, if you want to fly high, choice is yours. دل مردہ دل نہیں ہے اسے زندہ کر دو با زندہ تو آپ نے کرنا ہے developing management skill کا کورس لے کر بھی if your behavior is I just want to pass this course and get my MBA degree well fine but if you think and I've seen students coming from small villages near Patoki coming to Lahore coming to Karachi meeting people Taking challenge, changing their personality, changing their dress, changing their way they're talking, changing their networking ability, changing holistically. I've seen those students becoming country manager in a couple of years. But that's the requirement. Why not? Your family, your parents, your we need to see you higher and higher. To do that, you need those management skills. People can trust you, give you higher responsibility, that you will use their resources, technical resources, people resources, financial resources, infrastructure resources, in the best way possible. Or Osi Surat Mihoga, when you develop these management skills. All right, my dear students, if you like to see the reference of this instrument. I've given the website at the bottom of this uh, instrument as well as the reference of that book and the book's name is Political Skills at Work by Professor Harris. All right, now you have assessed it. Take a good look before I go to the next component that why these skills are important which we have talked in self-awareness. Or we take a look on the fifth component or the fourth component. This assessment session has brought to you three types of instrument. Personality type, A, B, and Machiavellian. And political skill. And among the political skill, we have seen four different dimensions. And I hope by putting them together, looking at all the dimensions of the awareness, you might be thinking, and please do think, that let me develop a plan which should be my personal development plan. And maybe you have to submit that personal development plan. I'll talk about that in a minute. Here comes the question now, my dear students. It's time now that we look at that why this self-awareness and the areas of self-awareness and especially the interpersonal skills and the political skills area, what is the importance of it? Is it really important? And speaking of this significance, now you know your personality type. Maybe you have discussed with the colleagues or the students or someone at home, maybe your friend. We like to learn why the personality knowledge awareness is important. What are its implications? Is it really significant? Acha significant se mujhe yaad aya. Some of you, I hope all of you, have seen and read the book Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Kis ke likhi hui hai? Bataiye zara. Very famous. He has a website. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Achha, ab to uske baad, unke kai aur kitabe hain aagayin. Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. Seven Habits of Highly Effective Families. But for the managers, executives, we're talking of Seven Habits of Highly Effective executives or people. He has written another book few years ago 
एट हैबिट एंड वेर यू टॉक्स अबाउट सक्सेस ओनली इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट अभी तो हम सक्सेस की बात कर रहे थे ना कि डेवलपिंग दीज मैनेजमेंट स्किल इज ए प्रोडक्टर इज ए प्रोडक्टर प्रोनाउंसिएशन भी जरा ठीक होनी चाहिए डेवलपिंग दीज मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स आर प्रिडिक्टर ऑफ सक्सेस बट डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर स्टीव कोवी इन दिस बुक ऑन एड्स हैबिट ही सेज नो सक्सेस ओनली इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट यू मस्ट मूव फ्रॉम सक्सेस टू सिग्निफिकेंस वाई इट इज सिग्निफिकेंट वाई यू आर सिग्निफिकेंट वाई शुड आई हायर यू Why should I give all my resources at your disposal? Are you able? Can you network? Can you manage? Do you have this skill? If not, here is the time you can develop those skills. Or ये जो implications of personality है, ये आपको submit करना होगा, ये grade होगा. So take a look on this. You can use the word document. Answer it. Write what is required. and submit it will be graded but here what we expect from you that now you know certain areas of self awareness especially the personality part very important part you need to develop your brand and this time of the brands how people would remember your brand how people would remember that person we met in karachi that person we met in conference that person we met on the airport or the seaport or the bus station you talked for 5 minutes you exchange telephone and email that 5 minutes of yours influenced him you became friend you became networked you shared goals together ye aisa hota hai to ab hum learn ye karna cha rahe hain knowing your personality what are the implications of this personality assessment please write down an essay short essay answering these four questions or if you like you can write couple of statements i would rather write a paragraph of three four statements you write an essay or statement responding to these four questions so you know what are the implications of your these assessments which you have taken question number 1 who am i what is my identity who am i what am i doing who am i now of course you will answer knowing who you are where do you draw your strength from sometimes people would write books on this question and you know let me share with you to answer this question who am i alex haley do you know his name alex haley wrote a book roots an author in united states belonging to the black americans alex haley he wanted to find out who am i where do i belong where did i come from roots us par film bhi ban gayi usne phir ek second book likhi he start tracing his roots starting from maybe say new york and all the way he went to africa 200 years ago where was the village i came from does it give you strength knowing who am i it gives strength it's an identity read about identity in psychology acha phir jab main pakistan se bahar jata hu i need to know what is my identity and i'm proud of having that green passport i'm still proud you know i lived in more than 10 years in united states in 70s intentionally i came back to pakistan i've been working here for the last 30 years i know 
I know for the last so many years, the word Pakistan has so many stigmas attached to it. But, my dear students, ladies and gentlemen, this is your identity. Who am I? I am a Pakistani. Ask those people who have no country, no land. Ask them, what is the meaning of who am I? Ask Palestinians. Ask Kashmiris. Ask Bosnians. Why are you fighting for a name? What's in it? They'll tell you why it is important. So please write down. I have written this essay. You can write a statement. This will be graded. You will to submit it. Who am I? Number two. What are my strengths and weaknesses? This is a famous question, hai, statement. You have to write a statement. You have to write a statement. You have to write a SWOT analysis karte hain. Management ke courses mein SWOT analysis of the organizations karte hain. Marketing ke courses mein toes analysis bhi aap karte hain. Depending upon inside perspective or the outside perspective. Maybe you would like to do the same thing here. Take an outside perspective, do the SWOT analysis. Or SWOT analysis mein bhi hum sirf do quadrants ki baat kar rahe hain. Strengths and weaknesses. Take the toes analysis about you, about me. That's an inside perspective. Look, toes analysis में threats पहले आ रहे हैं. Where do I getting this, these threats from? Are these threats from the boss? Are these threats from my colleagues? Why? Internal perspective. Anyhow, let's move on. You will give your answer and submit this answer. Question number three. What do I want to achieve in my life? You know it. But you got to write it down. Achha, question ye, why do I have to write it down? Please document it. Take a look on this document five years from now. I have to look at metric and inter ki copies. I don't have so much English. Now it's better than that. About what? 40 years ago? I draw strength. I can see what is the journey I've traveled. That gives you an indicator of success or speed or pace or frequency. What do I want to achieve in my life? You are in 20s, maybe early 30s. You have a long way to go. Where do you want to be in 10 years from now? What are the milestones you like to achieve? In 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years, in 40 years. And again, this reminds me, Professor Steve Covey. He asks you in the 8th habit. At the 8th habit, there is a documentary. If you get it, then you will have to read it. In documentary, he has a 3-minute video. The first video is a question. Karta hai. Do you want to leave a legacy? When you are gone from this office, and those of you who are married, when you are gone from the home, sincerely, how do your children and wife and brothers and sisters speak about you? Legacy. What kind of legacy you have left at home? Because you will go back home after eight hours, six hours. What kind of legacy you are leaving in the office when you are not in the office? Allah kare, aaj bhi ye bimar ho jaye, humara boss aaj na aaye. Aise hota kabhi? Aapke baat isi nikalti hai muse? Legacy. Ya, aap kehte hai, aaj ye shaks kyun nahi aaya? Malum ki jiye, bimar to nahi hai, you are concerned about him. You like to talk, you like to find out. What do I want to achieve in my life? Financially, intellectually, physically, Professionally, spiritually, I'm a financially can amdeke pehle liya hai. You must have liya I'm keeping the financial, uh, you know, achievements. Not give, no. Money makes the mayor go. It is important. But there are some other things which are also important. Number four, my dear students. Number four, what legacy do I want to leave? 
اچھا آپ مجھے بتائیے ڈونٹ یو وانٹ ٹو بی ریمبرڈ نائسلی بائی یور کولیگس از اٹ یور نیڈ اور سم بڑی وڈ سے آئی ڈونٹ کیئر ول فائن یو ڈونٹ کیئر بٹ دوز ہو کیئر دیکھیے نا وی نا ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کیئر لیس پیپل وی نا ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کیئر لیس آرگنائزیشن وی نا ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کیئر لیس یگ مین اینڈ وومین وی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ریسپانسبل سٹیزن آف پاکستان ریسپانسبل سٹیزن اچھا آپ نے او بی میں وہ کانسیپٹ پڑھا ہوگا نا سٹیزن شپ بہیویئر ایک تو ہے نا بہیویئر ڈیولپنگ دیز مینجمنٹ اسکلس ول ڈیولپ اے گڈ مینیجیریل بہیویئر بٹ دین واٹ از دیٹ سٹیزن شپ بہیویئر ان دی آرگنائزیشن سم تھنگ یو گو بیونڈ یور لائن آف ڈیوٹی and that reminds me that organization and there are many of them who will go beyond the limit which is not part of their job make the customer happy make the student happy make the colleague happy not part of your job aapki jd mein likha hua nahi hai and when you do something beyond written in the jd you are behaving and acting like a citizenship behavior a citizen of the organization aur citizen ka matlab ye hota hai ki kuch aapki legal responsibilities hain jinka aapko khayal hai kuch aapki ethical aur moral responsibilities hain as a human being jinka aapko khayal hai and people like to remember it people like to talk nice about you acha main us nice communication ki baat nahi kar raha jo aapke samne hoti hai wo to sabhi log kar lete hain no legacy means you are not there and good leader is the one good manager is the one who would like to live dead kya matlab hai this is a concept it concept means you are not there they don't see you but you are in their heart you are in their mind they like to speak about you and speak about you nicely in your absence that's what we mean here please write down a statement what legacy do you want to leave in home should the children talk nice about you should your wife talk nice about you should the customer talk nice about you to the ceo of the organization should your colleague talk nice about you ek lambi list hai acha phir as a human being this is my need believe me if people don't talk nice about you it creates stress and we'll talk about stress that leads to high blood pressure that leads to high uh, pain in the head and in the stomach leads to ulcer so my dear students remember leaving a good legacy ye ek ghanta jo aap baithe hue hain lecture sun rahe hain classroom mein ya kisi aur jagah par baithe hue hain ye daaye baaye ye public distance hai jab ye public distance khatm ho jaye aisa na ho ke log kahe یہ ہم نے بہت مجبوری میں یہ وقت گزارا یہ شخص جس کے ساتھ ہمیں ایک گھنٹہ گزارنا پڑا کاش دوبارہ نہ یہ گزارے یا یہ گھنٹہ جو ہم نے گزارا کاش دوبارہ بیٹھنے کا موقع ملے لیگسی سو دیز آر دی فور اسٹیٹمنٹ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ یو ہیو ٹو ٹیک کیئر اینڈ سبمٹ اینڈ رائٹ اینڈ وی وڈ لائک ٹو سی ہاؤ یو سبمٹ آئی ووڈ ایکسپیکٹ ون مور تھنگ فرام یو talk to your friend sincere friend take a feedback from him show this what you have written to him maybe you would like to change maybe he will give you some tip some sincere friend discuss its implication on your future and on your relationships discuss it ye jis ghar mein se bartanon ke bajne ki awaaz aaye padosi acha nahi samajhte jis office mein اونچی اونچی لاؤڈ بولنے کی آوازیں آئیں لوگ دروازے میں آ کے دیکھتے ہیں جس کوریڈور میں چلتے ہوئے ہاٹ ایکسچینج آف ورڈس ہو ریگارڈ لیس وٹ اتھارٹی اینڈ پاور اینڈ اسٹیٹس اینڈ کار اینڈ ہاؤس یو ہیو پیپل ڈونٹ لائک لیگسی 
So my dear students, I'm sure you understand the importance of this third component of self-awareness. And now you're going to write a statement on this. And with this, while I'm closing this session, we will get together again and move on to the fourth area of self-awareness, which is the most difficult part, which will be change. So take a little rest. Wait until the next session. Get ready for the change. Because I think knowing about you, about me, is the most difficult part. But we have to do it. It gives us strength. Thank you. And thank you very much. We'll see you in the next session. Until then, Khuda Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.